Hi, I'm Greg Hayes. I'm standing in front of Sun Roamer 4x4. This started off as a 1990 two-wheel drive motorhome. You know, over landing, really it's just any, throw your camping equipment in the back of the truck and you're overlanding. All right, we're in the kitchen. When I redid this, I left everything in the same configuration. So, but I did do an all new cabinetry and um, i retained these upper fiberglass units because they're great. And, but I did get rid of the uh, oak cabinet closures. They used to be right here with the actuators that would open up and I replaced them with these Cordura um, covers and there's Velcro closure. And we keep lightweight items up here and nothing's ever come out on rough road. And then down here, we have a two burner Dickinson. It's a marine burner top and it's all stainless steel. I made it, we have a little cutting board here and then I can also stow the cutting board there when we're cooking. I got an oversized stainless steel sink, some storage for holding uh, soap and such. And then we got the paper towels there. One of the things that's unique for this rig is I have this uh, hot water heating circulation system. And if I, um, right now it's energized with a water pump and that's running through my instant hot water heater and it, it runs adjacent to the cold water line. So in theory, I can keep everything from freezing if it's really cold. And then I can watch my temperature here. I'm already at 138. And down here, we got some drawers that pull out and they lock. I made all these drawers and they're just on drawer slides. And then I use simple stainless steel closure systems here. So nothing comes flying out. So this is the original fridge that came with it. Actually, I bought a new one, but it's the same style. It's a Dometic. Um, this one is propane and it has the option to run on uh, 120. So when I plug in, we just, we just do it that way. But when we're traveling, it's propane. But you know, standard refrigerator full of stuff. Love having a cold beer. I got pretty much all the electronics are right here. So I am 200 amp hours lithium battleborn, and I've got all Victron, Victron DC DC, the smart solar. I was struggling to find a place to put the batteries in my unit, and um, I didn't want to put them in the back for the weight purposes. So I ended up finding a spot that's underneath the couch right here. So the bathroom is right here. It's the same layout as the Sun Raider originally, except I got rid of their closure system and put in this kind of a map shower curtain thing for a door and that slides into a little pocket here. And then inside the bathroom, we have a nature's head toilet. I love this thing. In my opinion, it's better than a cassette because a cassette is only good for like three days and we can go like 30 to 60 days. In addition to that, I left the original sink. It's a stainless steel sink. We did get rid of the shower. I uh, needed a little bit more storage space, so I got a hers and his shelving with this netting that you can keep it so nothing flies out. We got a, our, our garbage is right here, and it's on a pivot so we can pull it out, and it's kind of convenient, and it lifts off so we can move it out of the way if we want. I left the shower pan so we keep all our water and anything that might leak or if we pull something in here wet, we'll try and manage to put it into that area because it still drains into the gray tank. At the time, we weren't super flush with cash and I already had the two wheel drive um, Sun Raider and we did like it and uh, we just kept going on harder and harder roads, fire roads in Idaho and we'd have to turn around a bunch of times and you know and I kept fantasizing about having something a little bit more robust and that and then all of a sudden boom I, I decided to just go for it and um, so I did the 4 by 4 conversion and then after that we're like yeah this actually worked out it works as good or better than we expected. And then I went ahead and gutted it and went for everything else. The overlanding is is really for us is started with camping. You know, 
the whole over landing thing kind of I kind of laugh you know over landing really it's just any throw your camping equipment in the back of the truck and you're over landing um, it, it, somehow this the, the phrase got termed you know in the last decade or so and you know so now I use it over landing we love we like to camp and drive on fire roads to get there and um, you know if it's muddy or ruddy or something on the way you know it's even funner So this is our living room and this is our bedding area. This actually, for all the Toyo old Toyotas, they all have this lift off piece and it just pushes up here and then you can fold your bedding up. But it's a full size queen. This allows you to get into the cab really easily. But uh, I had everything reupholstered with automotive upholstery. This couch here sleeps another two people. This thing actually flips over and my son's slept in here with us before. It's a little tight, but it's good. This is the original table that I just put like the fake leather on top, so it looks pretty cool. And I bought a uh, office chair from Staples and cut the uh, pedestal down a little bit, and it's now a swivel chair. No seat belts, but it's really nice and convenient. Down here I have um, easy access tools, all the screwdrivers and everything. This chair, lifts up and we can put heavy items in there as well. I usually put my recovery bag in there. This is the original location of the Sun Raider skylight, but we put a huge one in and we have access to the roof. We can actually just crawl up on the roof. So another nice feature about our bedding area is here I have reading lights. And if we flip and sleep with our heads over here, we got the reading lights over there as well. We still have the window closure system, so it completely blacks out. On the Sun Raider, these are the original cabinetry, which is the um, the fiberglass. On the end caps here, we punched holes. Can't see them in the camera, but this is great for when we're reading. I put my sunglasses or my glasses here. Um, I'm not a super mechanical guy and I'm definitely not an electrical guy, but I did install all my electronics. I was super nervous about it. Um, the uh, bat uh, lithium batteries are almost a thousand bucks each. I got a couple in here and all the electronics. I just, I was worried about, I was gonna fry something. But you know, with all these new companies and all their tech support, and I was on the phone with Battleborn all the time and we just went right through it and everything's great. So that part, um, you might have some trepidation over, but uh, you know, the, the help out there is amazing, especially with all the YouTube and everything. I must have been on YouTube so many times just to pick up little tricks along the way. Um, I, I, fiber, I never did fiberglassing before in my life, and I fiberglassed the whole front windows in on the Sun Raider because those front windows leaked. And I picked that up off of YouTube. I think the only thing I wish I did different was that I I um, planned out the interior a little bit better. It's funny, as I'm a, I'm a CAD guy, I'm a product designer, and my whole life, 30 years, doing everything on CAD. And this is like the first project in my life where I could have done it on CAD, but I just decided, nah, I don't need to do that. And I just bought a bunch of 80 to 20 and just started cutting and putting it in the rig and, and built it that way and just really on the fly. And it did work out ultimately, but I think I could have planned that out a little bit better. This started off as a 1990 two-wheel drive motorhome. I pretty much rebuilt the whole thing. I um, designed a custom wheel that I could use for the front and the back. You just flip the wheel front to back and that gives you a wide track on the rear and keeps the front end for high speed on the freeway, great tracking. I uh, put larger tires on here. I got some BF Goodrich KO2s on here. Those are almost 31 inches tall. I had to put the hood scoop on it to clear the new engine that we put in. I put a 3.4 liter Toyota engine in it. I found an ARB uh, bumper on Craigslist, super lucky one day, 300 bucks. So I bought that and it just bolted right up. Couldn't believe it. 
And then I found some Bushwhacker <clears throat> fender flares, also for sale on Craigslist, unused. And uh, they fit great, so I put those on. And uh, everything is uh, Raptor coated. And, and this has been a really good finish for, for us because you know we, we're in the brush all the time and it's, it just doesn't scratch. It's scratch resistant, UV resistant. I made some custom boxes. I found some unused space in here. So I had this box made. We're rock collectors. So we throw our hammers and stuff in there. On the other side, I have another box. It's bigger and I carry 10 gallons of gas. And I, of course I got lights, I got exterior lighting at night. This thing lights up like, a, like crazy. One of our favorite features are the clicky electric steps. They tuck up out of the way. I've never hit them on a rock or anything like that. Just a nice feature and they black, looks good. Thanks for the opportunity to talk about my rig. Um, I'm on Instagram, it's called Sunroomer 4x4. And um, I don't have a lot of followers. It's, I'm not after fame or anything, but you know, maybe someday I wanna sell this thing and at least I'll have the word out. And um, I, I, we love our vehicles. I love posting photographs of my vehicle. I'll seldom have me in, in it because it's not about me, it's about my rig. We'll see you out in the deserts of Oregon and Nevada. That's where we spend a lot of time.